Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360. Hope everyone's happy, safe, and well. I want to welcome you to our Loyalty Expo finalist preview series. And this series, we get the privilege of hearing from leading brands that will be part of this year's Loyalty Expo in Charlotte, North Carolina from October 25th to 27th. Uh, today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Derek Whitworth. He is the Manager, Managing Director for Marketing and Loyalty Optimization, that's a big title, from Air Canada. And they are a finalist for the 2021 Loyalty 360 Awards uh, Customer Loyalty Innovation and Transformation category. And uh, they're going to be presenting at the conference. So wanted to get a little more uh, insight into what you're going to be talking about. So how are you? I'm doing well. It's great to be here. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, for those who may not know about Air Canada, would love to kind of brief overview of what Air Canada is, what you guys do. I'm sure pretty you know, everyone's pretty much familiar, but would love to just get a little perspective on what the organization is. Yeah, absolutely. Air Canada is uh, Canada's largest airline. Uh, you know, pre-COVID, we were flying to uh, you know every populated continent across uh, across the globe, um, and I think we uh, shortly will be uh, uh, doing that again. Um, and in terms of my uh, my function, yes, it is a, it is a big title. It's a bit of a mouthful, um, but uh, you know, I lead a team that looks after a couple of different functions. Um, first and foremost, uh, all the features and benefits of Aeroplan, which is Air Canada's uh, loyalty program. Uh, what we call our member data intelligence, uh, which is effectively enabling access to data for our analytics team to make uh, decisions uh, about our membership base. Uh, and also all of Air Canada and Aeroplan's uh, marketing and campaign operations, as well as CRM planning. So uh, a good mix of uh, loyalty and uh, marketing activities in that role. Oh, excellent. Um, uh, we'd love to know a little bit more about you, a brief overview of your role with Air Canada, maybe a little bit about your background and maybe a fun fact, uh, to jump out of planes. Do you like to uh, do deep sea fishing? And you know, what, what's a passion you have? I do not like to jump out of planes, although I have been known to take some uh, uh, unusual routings to try out new airlines. Actually, uh, just last weekend uh, with a couple of colleagues of mine, uh, we, we flew uh, JetBlue's new Mint product. Um, and I wound up uh, uh, basically flying between the U.S. and Canada, transiting the United Kingdom uh, to do so. So uh, maybe that's a bit of an unusual thing I do from time to time. Um, but my background, I've been in the airline industry for, it's getting close to 15 years, which is pretty wild. Um, I've worked at, uh, at Star Alliance. That's where I started my career in loyalty. Uh, I've worked at City, um, and, uh, but Air Canada has really been, uh, uh, been a big part of my career. Okay, great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your award submission in the uh, customer loyalty, innovation, and transformation category? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we've been through a pretty unique transformation in Air Canada over the course of the past few years. Um, you know, for those who aren't aware, about two decades ago, we spun off uh, our loyalty program, Aeroplan. Um, and then we announced our intention to actually uh, exit the program uh, about five years ago. And uh, after that, we actually wound up reacquiring it in 2019. Uh, but, you know, when we announced our exit from the program, uh, we also told our members that uh, and our customer base that our plan was to launch, you know, a new completely reimagined loyalty program. So even with the reintegration of Aeroplan, we still wanted to uh, to make good on that promise to uh, to our members. Uh, so I, I would say the, the award submission is uh, kind of a reflection on the work that we've done over the course of the past five years or so. Um, and, and really, uh, you know, outlining some of the results uh, that, that we've delivered for all of our stakeholders, but, uh, but of course, primarily for our membership. Okay, great. Um, can you tell us a little, uh, a, a couple key takeaways that attendees can expect to learn? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, um, you know, probably one of the biggest things that we'll talk about are the uh, the primary insights that we learned uh, through the process of, of speaking to over 35,000 uh, consumers, um, primarily across North America, um, as part of our research, and then talk a little bit about uh, effectively how we took those insights and translated them into, you know, actual features and benefits uh, that our members are now using every day um, since we relaunched the program. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the, uh, you know, the key KPIs that uh, that we were focused on ahead of the relaunch of the program and, and really how we're delivering against those. Okay, great. Well, uh, Derek, great getting uh, a brief overview uh, of you, of Air Canada, and also uh, your award submission. So looking forward to seeing that. And thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It was a pleasure. I'll see you in Charlotte. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for listening and looking forward to seeing uh, everyone in Charlotte uh, in a couple of weeks. Have a wonderful day.